Okay, so what the stage we're at now, we've got all the sounds, everything set up with the band. On the drums, I'm breaking out all the drum mics in separate channels. I've got a mic inside the kick. Um, outside the kick on the front of the head to get some subs. I've got a CS5 on that. Then I've got a mic on the top of the snare, underneath the snare, pointing up at the metal snares to get the rattle, blend them in. Uh, Hi-hats are mic separately. The ride cymbal I'm miking from underneath um, because I've got two stereo mics on the overheads that get the shape of the drums, the snare, the ring and the tone of everything. And the ride gets picked up on the overhead mics. Uh, but the real weight and body of the ride cymbal I always find is miking underneath. So I can then blend that into my mix on a, from a separate track. Uh, two toms, we've got a rack and a floor. Um, they're both mic'd individually. I've got room mics, which we set up at the back of the room, closer to me here. Um, and then I've got an ambient, a mono ambient mic in the middle of the room, about eight foot generally back, sometimes 12 foot back from the kick drum down at the floor, just to get all the air moving and all the air that's pumping on the ambient mic that's near the floor. I can really pump in some nice warm bottom end and then compress that and it gives you a real nice sensation of like the air's pumping. It's really cool. So the beauty of tracking on a board is that you can break everything out, dial in all your sounds and listen to the whole kit together and then isolate your sounds, solo them, see if there's a conflict or you need to separate frequencies a little bit and then put it back put it back in the mix of your sounds. So this is just a sound check that we did. And that's my mic inside the kick. What I did on the EQ was um, bring out some air on the top. The thing that's nice on this EQ is that the top end is very airy, it's very spacious. Um, it doesn't sound fake and the bottom end is warm. Put it back in the mix. And then if I need to dial anything in, that's what I can do. Uh, this is my second kick mic, which is the CS5 on the outside head, which is just, if you hear it's picking up more thud, more low frequencies. I can put the two kicks together. I've got the slap from the inside and I've got the weight from the outside. And again, working on a board, working in like real time with the drummer playing, lots of mics. It's, it's the only way you can go about tracking drums or tracking a band. So then we get the two snare mics, the one on the top, the rattly one underneath, put them together. But it only makes sense when you put it all back in picture. The other thing I like on the board, what's very important is that when you solo stuff, that it solos it in position. So here we're just listening to the overhead mics, left and right. So if I want to hear how my toms are sounding, how my snare is sounding in the overhead mics, then all i got to do is just solo these mics, it's in stereo, and I get a whole balanced pitch of my drum kit. So if I come back listen to just my room mics as well I can I can hear what's going on in that and the important thing is to capture like air and bottom end um, this enables you to do it the bottom end on this board is really sweet I really like it um, you can put in some punch but it doesn't sound fake I can open up the top end and get some brightness pull out the transients and so on but it's not sounding paper, it just sounds like air, which is what you want from your high frequencies. It opens up the space around everything. And again, listen to the whole mix. I've got everything broken out. It's just so quick, it's so simple. If I listen to it and I now think my kick on the outside that I want to like fatten it up or compress it a bit more, it's just so easy to isolate it, hear what's going on, put it back in context. And I might decide I want to push it up a little bit, maybe add a bit, little bit of um, low-end EQ, put a compressor on it, 
and actually feed the EQ into the compressor, hype the EQ, and then squash it back in and give it more punch, tighten the whole picture up. Um, again, I can't imagine not tracking um, a band in this situation uh, without a, a really good quality console.